Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, BlueHeronArts.com. Today I have a special guest, Lisha from Australia. Hi, Hi Lisha. <laughs> um, Lisha has commissioned me to do this uh, special mood seal, uh, which has a uh, Chinese uh, idiom, uh, the newborn buffalo calf. Uh, which is derived from a Chinese uh, saying, newborn calf is not afraid of tiger. Uh, Misha, why you choose this, uh, this uh, for your mood seal? Uh, a few reasons. The first one is that it come about with my buffalo painting and I just went and had a go no matter what the, and the painting came out. So I think it sort of stemmed from there to begin with. And... And I don't know what else. <laughs> the, uh, the farming background, uh, what uh, oh, do you uh, know about the uh, yeah. baby buffalo? Yeah, I also know that um, from my farming background and working with cattle, that um, the newborn calf is very fearless animal. And... Yeah, it certainly isn't going to be afraid of the tiger. It's just going to walk right up to it. So when you painted the buffalo, do you, do you have a lot of experience to do large paintings? <laughs> uh, no, so when I painted the buffalo painting, it was uh, the first time I'd painted on a whole sheet of paper, uh, 54 inches by... 70. 70. Oh, uh, 54 50, by 27. Yeah, 54 inches by 27. So I had to put the paper on the floor and paint on the floor. And um, yeah, the, the, it was a very uh, inspirational moment and it was uh, very moving. I, I, I think I, I changed from having that painting, <laughs> yeah. being a part of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, the mood seal marks a life event. It could be an uh, important painting in your art career or experience. Uh, so you make you uh, a different artist you know, at a new level. So you are new to Chinese brush painting and uh, you are not afraid of uh, exploring the uh, new ideas and new uh, styles and the different sides, you know, the large size of the challenge. So a um, lot of uh, painting, a lot of artists like me are not uh, good at large painting, <laughs> maybe. Really? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody um, would have thought so. <laughs> um, they're not just the enlargement of a small painting. It, no, it, yeah. it, it, it require more courage to begin with, and uh, the composition need to be more uh, adapted to the size, not just enlarged from a small uh, etagami painting. You know. Yeah, I know that um, it, um, in your painting you talk about having the mind image and yeah. it was definitely in my mind uh, and it had been there for a while Yeah, and that's why it had to come out. <laughs> yeah, and okay. so uh, that's a uh, part of the uh, realization of uh, uh, creation uh, process. So you need to find, you need to develop a mind image before you do uh, large painting, especially. So you you working on a part, you have a whole in mind, mm. right? Not just small painting, you can see the whole picture. Uh, so you, especially when you do a large painting, like you you you, yeah. do, you do have a yeah, okay. So. Uh, I really appreciate uh, the time that uh, we have spent in the workshop with you and the other uh, two students uh, during the last week and this is your last day so I'm, not, I'm going to carve this as a uh, memory yes. uh, video so we, we take this moment when we uh, carve this seal together so I will uh, give some uh, uh, energy to this stone you said something about the mood seal function on the painting. Uh, why I, I mm. why I carve? You can uh, let us know. How do you think? Um, I think through um, the process 
um, we've been through to 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 get the idea for the the mood seal. I, and during the painting process, I realised that the mood seal isn't just uh, an ornament to go on the painting, and it's not just to have you know five or six, ten mood seals. The mood seal is a really strong part of yourself and it's part of your chi and it's part of it's part of the creation and it's just as much vitality. yeah it's the vitality and it's just as much part of the actual painting itself like it is the piece of art as well um, and prior to that I don't think I quite realized how important they were um, and they're sort of almost like a, a respectful kind of thing, you know, to be put on the painting. Um, it was a wonderful moment to realise mm -hmm. <laughs> that, yeah. that, you know, that is a part of what the mood seal is. It's, it's in it and it's quite unique. Also, also to be um, here and now, to have it done and to be able to be part of that is adds to the coincidence of it. Um, so this seal will always have a very <laughs> a very special journey that it's it's started and you mm. know, I hope there'll be many paintings that it will get to go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will carry the uh, chi Thank you Alicia okay. for your uh, for sharing your experience painting and the uh, mood seal. So we're not going to work on this uh, seal. I did, I did a little bit of uh, carving on this uh, uh, character new on Buffalo. You can see the pictograph, the remnants of pictograph of a Buffalo uh, horn. This stone is uh, very strong. So it's kind of hard to carve. I'm thinking about Chibashi style. Uh, very powerful single cut stroke. I'm not very powerful like him, but I try to uh, use the inspiration from Chibashi. One single cut per stroke without uh, too much uh, alternation. It's like a paint on raw, raw or uh, unsized shrimp paper. Uh, you cannot change too much of a stroke. It's more difficult to cut this uh, negative carving or in carving than the yang. Because uh, yang you can always uh, uh, you know, you cut the background so you, you can make it up little by little. But in this, uh, it will show if you do it, not do it in one cut. You can make another cut next to the first one if it's uh, not broad enough. So, this is uh, the character Chu New Bone uh, Buffalo. This is new, like a uh, little baby cross in the uh, a cutter or uh, scissors or a knife next to it.
This second character on this uh, side is boom. Uh, life. To give, li uh, to give life. Uh, this uh, together is a compound word, new boom. Chu Shen. It's a very common Chinese uh, idiom to describe a person who is new and uh, enters some, uh, something like society. And is not afraid of uh, uh, the set uh, rules or something. It's like you say in English, the more wit, the less courage, uh, that kind of mood. You just go for it. When you're new to something, you you need more uh, courageous to try. Last character is a do meaning calf. It's really the uh, buffalo calf. So there's a little buffalo on this side called the uh, buffalo radical, and the other side is the pronunciation do meaning calf. I kind of like the, the effect we got on the rubbing, so sometimes we change the, the design according to the effect on the rubbing, on the print we made from the design with the acetone liquid. It's like stand on the stone, or print on the stone. Got smeared sometimes compared to the uh, the design. It's nice to keep that feeling. sound of the <laughs> knife in the rock, the scratching sound. Yeah, they, they call it the music. Uh, many uh, YouTube viewers uh, mm. enjoy listening to it to, uh, before they sleep. The it's music. very soothing <laughs> <laughs> sound. And, uh, 
and and the boldness of the of the carving mm. is you know yeah trying to to indicate to convey the kind of uh, meaning from the content yeah, we need to yes great okay now I'm going to make a initial stand to see the result of the real seal compared to the design idea. See, there's a buffalo, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's a buffalo on the stone. There's a horn in the abstract way. We shall, uh, we need to make the strokes a little even on this uh, on this part of the small buffalo, maybe too thin. That's uh, we need to adjust, I think. Other than that, not much uh, we need to do to finish. We can knock off some. Uh, the margin to make it more natural. It's like painting, you need to know when to start. <laughs> so. You're reading my mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take another look better uh, before we continue. When you do the same, you don't press too deep into the ink paste, you just tap it, make it uh, even, check the ink uh, face, and uh, put something underneath it, like a magazine or a thin book, something flat. And then Place it carefully and press down. Oops, I think it's too soft. We so got more margin. And that's why uh, I want to see the stroke and press very hard to see it. So let's make an official thing in my album. I've got uh, Lisha's uh, other two seals yesterday uh, when she's traveling in the National Park, Redwood National Park. The dragon and uh, her first name seal, Lisha. Lisha in Chinese. Now we have this uh, seal. This is also.
that's pretty. Very good. Okay. I'm really happy. Thank you, Nisha, <laughs> for uh, videotaping this uh, uh, carving process with me. And I uh, hope this uh, will go on many of your masterpieces when you return to Australia and uh, share them with us in the online class with your classmates and me. Uh, I will. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Goodbye. Bye.